Hey everyone, so I just wanted to take a couple minutes and talk you through the process of us finding a photo and getting it ready to post on the account. Um, so starting here, you can see I've got a set of photos. Basically, I was sitting on the couch, the dogs kind of were crowding around me, so I started taking their pictures. And then you can see down here, we get a fourth dog coming into the picture. And so I got a few like that. And then eventually, I think we had five dogs in the picture. Uh, and Vink was kind of off to the right and she eventually got interested. So I got a few really good ones with four of them. And then uh, Vink finally decided to join us and I have all six. So I have a bunch of pictures like this. And then the question is like, what do I do to actually pick one that goes on the account? Um, I always go through and see if there's anything interesting in their uh, little surprise moments that we caught. So um, these are all pretty cute. Not necessarily one I would pick because like Brody's looking away from the camera, but otherwise this one's really good. This one, Swizz has a kind of weird look and there's a bunch of junk in the background, which would be hard to deal with. So uh, here Guac is a little blurry you can see, so I wouldn't use that one. In fact, I'm gonna delete that because I won't use them if they're blurry. This one could be okay. This one, not as good as the previous one, though I do like Guac's face there. So we're gonna delete this one because there's better ones. And so I'll kind of go through, and if there's any that I definitely won't use, I'll delete them. That one's pretty good. This one's also good. I like these a lot with just the four dogs. So I'm going to delete this one. Well, I like Guac's face in this one, but we have St. Patrick's butt off to the side there. Here Guac is not looking as happy, but St. Patrick's butt is gone. So we'll keep those for now. Okay, so now we have all six dogs. These are the ones I'm definitely going to use because it's always better when you have everybody in the picture. So this one is pretty good. This one is better. Uh, Swizz is happy in this one where she was not here so we'll get rid of this one because I won't use that this one's also pretty good so we'll just leave it for now this one I like better because Swizzle's looking at the camera so we'll delete this guy that's a good one this one's cut off on the side so we'll delete that and then I think that's everything. Okay, so here St. Patrick's doesn't have as happy a face as he does in this one. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, and you can see I've been favoriting ones that I like. That's just a part of my process. So I think we only have a couple left of the two left of the six dogs. So we have this one and this one. This one has a very cute Chief Brody smiley face. And this one, he's also got a great face there. St. Patrick's a little, like doing a little wink. Uh, I think I like this one better. If I had great faces in both pictures, like St. Patrick had an amazing face in one and Brody had an amazing face in the other, I might Photoshop them together. I don't usually do that, but if there's something that would make it really incredible, I would. Um, in this case, I think this one is good. So that's the one we're gonna work with. That's just the selection process. And then, uh, I'm going to bring this into Lightroom. Okay, so here we have it in Lightroom. Um, I always go through the same process here. I go to Optics on the bottom and turn both of those on. They just make it a little better. And then for Geometry, turn it to Auto, and that's going to make it look more straight up and down. Um, I like that look a lot. Okay, the main thing wrong with this picture is the chip clip in, on the couch, which is just distracting. So we're gonna zoom in on that and we're gonna do a little healing on it. Uh, so let's make our tool a little bigger. So I'm gonna highlight that. Um, the automatic healing is often really good. It's a little bit off there. All right, so we're not quite getting what we need. I'm going to just make the tool a little smaller. I was trying to be uh, fast about it. Okay. So we'll go like that. 
and then make sure we're copying over part of the blanket and then we'll do one more here for the edge okay no it's not quite right so this is a lot of the process is like how do i get exactly the right thing i need uh especially if i'm doing like a replacement like this i don't want it to look photoshopped or fake i just want it to be not distracting okay so that's pretty good uh, a little bit of a shadow there, but I, well, let's fix it. Since we're doing it right, that's what I would do. So we'll go in there. There we go. So that looks better. Now you can't really tell. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, if I'm being super perfectionist, I'm not always like this. I think that cable is distracting, and so we could go in and do some healing on that too. Here I'll probably switch it to like a direct copy. Let's do that one more time. You wanna be careful like when you're touching something of a different color, cause it can get what you can see up at the top there, that weird kind of blurring. And you can sometimes adjust that if you touch something of the same color. I'm gonna move it down a little bit so it's not overlapping there. I can get a little too perfectionist with this stuff. Okay, so that's good. Get the cable out of there. Um, the rest of the background looks fine. I don't really care about the other little cable down on the bottom. Um, so the next thing we're gonna adjust is the color. I always like to just try the auto first because I think that often does a really good job. That brightened it up a lot. Um, so I think we'll leave the light like it is. For the color, I might turn up the vibrance just a little bit so that looks a little brighter. And that's pretty good. Um, I think I probably could leave it like this, but there's a lot of couch here, right? It's the whole bottom third. And I could crop it out, but then we end up with a really skinny image, uh, which doesn't look great on Instagram. There's still a lot of couch in there, uh, but I can't bring it in at all on the sides. So I might try uh, just blurring that out a little bit. So for that, we're gonna do a selective edit and we're gonna basically take the bottom part of this. It's a little hard to see because the couch is red, but that's highlighted red. And then go to effects and bring down the clarity and the texture. Doesn't look very good here, uh, but that's something that I try sometimes. Okay, so if we're gonna leave that in there, I will take care of that little floof blob because that's a little distracting. I mean, there's a lot of fur, but that's a big one. I probably will crop it a little bit um, so we kind of have the dogs in the middle third, right? You can see the guidelines on there. Bring that up so their faces are in the middle third. It's not ideal, but it's okay. Um, and I think that's about it. If I were to get very perfectionist about it again, um, I think St. Patrick, he's a little brightly lit on our left. And so I might add in a selective edit there on the left side of his face for the light and just bring the exposure down a little bit. Right about there. So it's just not quite as sharp. Just to show you the difference, that's before and that's after. So that looks good. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now that I've mentioned it, I'm a little distracted by this. So let's take, uh, start down here, take this out. See if we can get it mostly lined up. It's always hard when you have lines like this to get it lined up right. Is that distracting? Kind of. Okay, so the way to fix that then would be to do it in some smaller parts. So let's bring our brush size down and we'll kind of do the top half. Those lines match up. And then down here, that matches up. And then at the bottom. Okay. Probably no one would notice that, but I noticed, so that's better. Um, all right, I think that's about it. So then we will save that, export to camera roll. And that's the end. Now we have the picture uh, that's ready to post tomorrow.